Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Food Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Shapeshifters continues to take FIBA 23 content to a whole new level. This crazy position change has continued yesterday with a goalkeeper moved yet again up to the striker position with another five-star skill move boost as well. We've got a lot to talk about with this SBC and more Shapeshifters coming to packs today. I'm excited to see what happens, guys, because this content right now is breaking FIFA. If you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it and, of course, subscribe if you're new let's start by looking at yesterday's madness before we get into what's happening today and actually how we can invest for a few things coming today for sure first of all we're not even going to talk about that petter check just yet we're going to talk about a surprise sbc the year in review player pick guys ea has just turned up the level of content recently this was a surprise yesterday we always love a good year in review player pick because not just because it's like a really insane kind of player pick SBC to do. It's just fun, right? It kind of reminds you of SBCs or objectives that were released during the last couple of months. And maybe if you skipped one or two of those, I mean, you could get them in this year in review. It's a one of four, plenty of options there. It's a really, really cheap price as well. 86 and 84. I think one of the reasons why this uh, is even over a hundred thousand coins is because all TOTS cards are currently what? 60, 70 K. So that's like half the price of this SBC. If you have one of those in your club, then boom, you're able to get that done for, you know, a pretty, pretty cheap price. This one for me is a must do just because it's super duper cheap to do. Even if you haven't done it yet, uh, maybe crack it during the week with upgrades there's a lot of potential from this right play of the month Mbappe being that top tier top echelon card Saint Maximin the Gundawan for me it's the Kimpembe I did not do flashback Kimpembe would absolutely love to see him uh, come out of that SBC for me now of course you know you guys may have done some of these like Holland or Rashford or Nkunku and, and content like I did and like man I really don't want to get any of those cards but it's just kind of more of a fun aspect of do this player pick you might get somebody really sick or or you might just see some fun cards and have a chance to get some high rated fodder or maybe even a team of the season card, right? You get that Rafinha or you get a couple of those TOTS SBC players that were put out during the month of April or May and you have TOTS fodder. So it's cheap. It's fun to do. Go ahead and do that one. That one, it didn't even move fodder yesterday, man. Even the 84 rated squad, there's a lot of people doing that year in review player pick, even though it's downvoted so heavily on Flipin. Uh, like these guys didn't even move 3K for, uh, for 84s. I mean, they were up a little bit. They're they're probably still a good club stock, and we'll talk more about fodder investing a little bit later on. But that year in review, it's nice, right? It was a surprise. We love it. It's repeatable once, and then uh, I think it comes back a different time before it goes away in seven days. We'll have to wait and see. I've not done that SBC yet, so I don't quite know how that repeatability works. But moving on, Petter Check. We got to look into this one, guys. This is crazy, right? This is the big SBC yesterday that we're kind of talking about. Petter Check Striker, left footed, 6'5, with the five star skill moves. It's another absolutely massive player. All these goalkeepers, right? They're really tall. That's what makes them uh, somewhat good goalkeepers in real life anyway and they're just kind of like giants on the pitch i've seen a couple people used check i've watched a couple player reviews he just looks like so much fun it's almost the malinkovich savage situation all over again 98 strength 99 heading accuracy with great shooting stats as well 98 penalties with great composure and reactions look at those dribbling stats the 84 agility so that he can be lengthy for sure uh, i think people are using either like a hunter or a hawk on this check card and the price here guys is again just astounding One hundred and eighty thousand coins for this petter check even if you don't want to do the full sbc you can go get the five game loan card for a very very cheap price as well so many upvotes just because this is like crazy content man it's just insane and he even has the helmet in game so if you didn't do the milinkovic savage i think this is another one that's up there with just a crazy card we have to try out i'm excited to do this sbc and to try him out when else are you going to get a petter check card at striker that you get to use in fifa like this is just again it's game breaking content and it's, it's crazy and it's fun. So I'm absolutely here for it and I love it. I know some of you guys are like, man, uh, you know, the argument is against this is that I would have loved to have a Petr Cech that was actually in net that was really good, right? Well, you know, we've got the prime Petr Cech. I think he has a World Cup version as well. It's not his first special icon of the year. Yeah, he had the 90 rated World Cup version. But let's be honest. I mean, you can go and get any of those on the market. This one is just different and I, that's why i like it it's super sick so that for me is an absolute w there's no ifs ands or buts about it we also had a 500k pack which i would love to see uh and actually i'm just gonna do it right now we'll go into the store i couldn't because i was on a sign or selini i took level 15 i took the shapeshifters pack i probably should not have uh but i did i gambled and i did not 
uh, get a very good card from that. But this 500k pack, I want to see the percentages on it because um, the 400k pack did not have a very good percentage. 39% of the icon, 40 on the premium, and 28%. For shapeshifters, man, that just seems so underwhelming for a 500k pack compared to what it was during team of the season when this 500k pack would have like, what was it, like an 80% chance or a 90% chance of a TOTS card? Now, I know there was more cards in packs then. Maybe this pack would be one that if you're going to do it, you wait until today because we got more shapeshifters coming into packs today on Sunday. And speaking of content, as we get into that, talking about that today, guys, just watch out for every single day of content going forward. We started to see it last week. We're seeing it still right now. EA is upping the level of content right now in FIFA 23. I think there's a couple reasons for that. First of all, it's the end game. This is the main reason, right? It is the end game and they have to keep us more interested. That's why we got these insane position changes with the icons being moved from goalkeeper to striker we've got random year in review player picks we've got the fgs playoff upgrade which i actually need to do this is going to be repeatable again uh today on sunday i do believe and there's more tokens up for grabs if you're watching those pro games you can still um put those i forget where the sbc is oh yeah it's under swaps you can put those tokens into the jumbo rare players pack right you get four of those you can put it in here for 100k pack and tradable not a bad way to get some fodder right now if you've got those make sure you check your club for them um if you're watching on twitch or youtube those pro events you can get those tokens so you know i think i would just say again watch out for ea to up the level of content even throughout the rest of this week and i think that could mean a couple more things coming today on this game now first of all shapeshifters in packs we know about this we've seen the leagues we know what cards are coming today in the mini release now now, mini release last week we didn't get on Sunday because it was accidentally released on Friday with the full team. But we've got leaks for Adiemi, we've got Taliso, and we've got Ochoa. So another goalkeeper with Ochoa here. We'll see where he goes, whether it's the midfield, whether it's a defender, or whether it's a striker up top. We'll have to see. Excited for that one for sure. He'll be pretty cheap. Oh, absolutely. Taliso, really curious to see where he goes. I have maybe a guess. I don't know. Maybe left back. We had a right back for Bamba. We just had a center back in Doozy. Maybe EA makes him a center back as well. Or maybe they move him to the attack. I don't exactly know. And then for Adiemi, very interested to see where they put this card. Um, do they move him just back to like center attacking mid? Do they move him to like on the wing or something like that? Of course, his base position is striker and his gold card. So I just don't know where they're going to move this card today. And that's part of the fun to see where they take Adiemi Taliso and Ochoa. Four cards are going to be released in packs today. So definitely watch out for that. And one thing I'll say is hopefully even on that 500k pack, like we mentioned, Hopefully the pack weight all around. Sometimes EA kind of change pack weight mid promo. Um, once they see uh, prices, whether they like it, whether they don't like it, I think on like, you know, how people are interacting with these cards and how supplied they are in the market. I hope that the new shapeshifters coming out today maybe just increases the pack weight a little bit and EA updates some of these odds, right? Because it's just been woeful watching 84 times 25s and 85 times 10s be open with the pack right, right now. It's just not good. So I hope some of that changes today with new cards coming to packs. I don't I don't think it's a guarantee. It's kind of more just a hope for me. So new cards coming in packs today, that's for sure. Now, the big question for today's content is, in my opinion, what icon pack are we going to get, right? We've got that 90 plus Brazil, French, and Dutch icon pack that was dropped last week. It says it is expiring today. If you look on the web app, I actually think it says it's going to repeat today, but the SBC itself is going away. I think, honestly, they're going to re-release it, right? It was the first week for this SBC. Last week, it was 85, 86, and 88 rated squads, and this made prices move a lot, and I think it will again. Shoot, I want to do this SBC again. I got Prime Ronaldinho from this SBC last week, the second time that I did it. The potential on that pack for you to get a really good icon is so high. I think EA know they got to re-release that SBC. If that doesn't re-release today, I think we'll be very disappointed. Now, can we invest for that? Absolutely, we can. I'm looking at 87s 87s at 12 to 13k 13k is the most i would pay but i really love these prices right here guys honestly at 12k i mean look how high these were last week when the sbc came out these guys went to 17 18 000 coins if you look at the weekly graph uh you can see when it was released 
These guys went from like 14k to like 18,000 coins, and they were high for the rest of the week. I love the 87s. Even if EA makes the SBC a little bit cheaper today, I think 87s are a really, really safe bet. And uh, 88s look pretty good as well. Basically, from 86s to 89s should all rise tomorrow. But if I had to guess, I think 86s to 88s would do the best. And here's why. If you if they're going to purely re-release that SBC, you got an 85, 86, and an 88 rated squad. You have to put a team in the season card in with that 88 rated squad. And of course, right now all Todd's cards are like what high 60s 68,000 coins for like all team of the season cards and if you look at all of these ratings you're looking at 91 92 rated players if you're doing an 88 rated squad you might have to put in one or two more 88s but then with this high rated of a card going in that squad you're using 86s and 87s to complete the rest of it so I really love the 87 rated players today I think I want to do a club stock of those actually right now because I don't have too many in the club um you know, under 13K for these is is perfect. So I'm going to try to pick a couple up at like 12 or something because these are down a little bit from where they were yesterday. Wait, are we going to get 11K for variety right now? 12,000 coins. Like that's a no-brainer. Whether it's a club stock or an investment to try to make some coins, I think that's a no-brainer. And then 88s, I think... Under 17K is the best. Um, I just don't think they're going to go too much lower than that. So if you can get like 16 and a half K, we do have squad battle rewards that'll be paid out today, early Sunday morning. Not that a ton of people are playing squad battles right now because, I mean, it is the end of June. But I'm sure that some people are, and you'll see a little bit of tradable supply hit the market because of that. So I'm going to stock a couple 88s in the club for like 16K just because I want to do that icon pack today when it gets dropped. So that's one thing I would definitely do, whether it's an investment for just trying to make profit or if it's just to get the SBC done today as fast as possible when it is released. I like the 86s, 87s, and 88s, maybe the 89s a little bit as well. But uh, yeah, I said it as well in the beginning, 84s, 2.4K for 84s. That is like ridiculously cheap guys it is that is so so cheap um i i think you know we looked at that veron car we look at some of these others that were around 2.7 to 2.8 k yeah these could go up a little bit more um during the week for sure i'm not expecting a massive rise there it would take like a repeatable low tier pack to make these go up and everybody's getting fodder right now from all of the packs that are out in the objectives and stuff like that so sbcs as well once that 84 times 5 goes away maybe those end up going up a little bit more during the week um but fodder on the low tier is just so plentiful right now these are maybe just a club stock uh, probably not going to move a ton this week unless we get something crazy but that's kind of what i'm thinking there for the fodder market now todd's cards as well guys they're probably going to even go higher today if they release that icon pack once again these Tots fodder cards are going to go from 68K probably to above 70. Let's be completely honest. If there is no more supply and there is more demand, as long as they don't do compensation uh, yet, these cards are just going to keep going up a little bit more because there is no demand and there is, uh, or sorry, there is a lot of demand and like no supply. So that's what I'm thinking with those. Today could be a good day to sell your team of the weeks once again, um, as we will probably have again another spike with that uh, SBC refreshing. How much are team league cards right now? 26k 26 25,000 coins lovely all right this might be one of your last chances with that uh the playoffs fgs playoffs sbc running out in the next couple of days but until that runs out those are going to stay inflated in price now one thing i want to shout out as well is remember last sunday we had an objective that involved that jonathan bomba card that involved the only upgrade pack we have right now um, that 80 plus double, which is the, I think it's the shapeshifters crafting upgrade. I haven't done too many of these, but the SBC is still available for 12 days, right? This is still available right now for 12 days. And we do have one player that is leaked. It is Emmy Martinez. And to me, this seems like a potential objective that could be dropped today, or it could be somebody who's not leaked like Bob. I think Bamba was not leaked last week. I don't quite remember. But last week on Sunday, I believe we did have another objective uh, that was through the crafting objective, right? So maybe that happens again. If they have the SBC, why would they not um, have another player there that we could work through that craft once more? So that's what, kind of like my sneaky content guess for today is maybe this Emmy Martinez drops as a crafting objective. Another goalkeeper, I guess we'll see where he goes. And, um, you know, it could be somebody completely different, but this is one of the only leaks that we have right now. So just kind of shouting that out to say, watch out for that one today. And then, of course, I mean, maybe EA wants to go all out and drop end of an era Conte today as well. Um, we'll have to see if this is like today, maybe it's tomorrow on Monday or throughout the rest of this week. 
we will have to see but that will be another massive sbc as well so we have to make sure we touch on that because um that's massive right so that's kind of the big stuff that's happening today on uh sunday could be a decent day of content every day seems to surprise just at least a little bit on this game and with that uh the market guys is just man these shapeshifters i gotta talk about this of course you expect promo cards to drop from day one to day two but bro these cards had some massive massive drops yesterday uh martial i sold over 1.3 mil a couple times he's now under 1.1 at the moment um i actually picked up one of him at almost a million coins to try to flip um neuer is feeling the price drop like insane right now i think it's got to be because of petter check right neuer's 535,000 coins after i sold him at 900,000 coins in the early hours yesterday he's almost dropped 50 percent but it really is because of that check sbc it's been dropped so a lot of the shapeshifters are down bad especially in the low tier right Giroud, um raquel may those guys yesterday i was hoping for some flips i definitely lost some coins on guys like raquel may um they were high and then they absolutely got destroyed in the early hours yesterday and they've stayed kind of low since so i lost a little bit there on Giroud and i lost on raquel may but at this stage of the game the coin loss stings a lot less uh, i was able to make some coins on martial and um, who else did I flip? Oh, Neuer. Yeah, so we, we sold Martial before he dipped uh, down way too much. Like, I was able to sell him right around in here. And then uh, I forgot to sell one of them and sold it at this spike right here. So, like, look how much this guy fluctuates. That's why I want to trade with him. Same thing with Neuer. So these guys are probably just going to drop off more today, though. If we get an Icon pack, you guys know what's going to happen. The rest of the market, including these cards in packs, are probably going to be impacted. And as we take a look at the rest of the market in general, a lot of these prices just continue to slowly slide. Lewandowski, 189. De Bruyne, 400K. Salah, 600. Ha uh, Holland, 2.1. Musiala is 800K. Finally dropping down a good amount. It's been a slow drop for a lot of these cards. But again, like we've been saying, the more insane content that we get, people are changing away from Tots cards into the shapeshifters. And that's just what's going to continue to hurt all these prices on the market over the coming days man rabio is 500k remember when he was 1.1 mil yeah a couple like last week 11 9 like 11 days ago i can't do math yeah 11 days ago crazy man absolutely crazy so that's kind of the state of the game right now hopefully it's a big day of sunday content with an objective player that 90 plus icon pack returning and uh maybe maybe a surprise sbc we We'll have to see what all drops today on this game. But make sure you stock some fodder, get ready for an icon pack or whatever drops today. And I will see you guys in a stream today, opening some of those icon packs if we get them. If you did enjoy the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream again today once again. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys there. Peace out.